All right, we gotta talk about boots that are under $200 because it's definitely a hit and miss budget range. You never really know what you're gonna get and a lot of companies definitely cut corners in order to get their boots down to that price and I'm talking about the Durango Rebels too because these Rebel boots I believe were around $170 when I got them and they definitely have their drawbacks. If you haven't seen the review you should definitely check it out. But today we need to talk about just boot brands in general that have boots under $200 and I polled you guys. We're gonna look at the results today to see which ones are the favorites. So, let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. We've been there. We've only had $200 for a budget to buy boots at some point in our lives. I polled you guys, and over 200 of you, I believe 221 of you, filled out a form of your favorite boots that were under $200. So I have the results today and we're gonna go through them and kind of talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each of these brands and wow, are there a lot of disadvantages sometimes when you go under $200 for a pair of boots. I got eight brands or seven brands and then one that's not a brand but still a genre, I guess you can say, which we'll get into. But let's start at the lowest and go to the most popular, the most voted for. So coming in at number eight is Farini Boots, which got just under 2% of the votes. And their prices are starting to go up. So they're just around $200, but they have some of the best print exotic boots that you can find. Uh, they've really dialed in what their prints are looking like. I mean, that snake skin looked really good. This is a print elephant, so they really focus on their prints. And I believe I also saw a print sea turtle boot that they also have little scars included in the print so that they try to make it look even more real. So Farini is just dialed in on their print exotic boots. So if you're looking for an exotic boot under $200, Good luck, I guess. Good luck, especially if it's new. So you're gonna need to look for print exotics instead, which is just cowhide, and they basically exactly what it sounds like, emboss or print the texture or design of an exotic leather into that cowhide leather. They make it look like snakeskin, they make it look like elephant, they make it look like sea turtle, gator, you know, all of them. And Farini really makes their uh, print exotics look practically real. Still, that comes in at number eight, and it looks like their boots are getting a little bit more pricey, so they're getting just above that $200 range, but as you saw, you can find some of their boots for under $200. The same goes for this next brand here. Uh, this is a classic brand. It's Justin, the seventh uh, amount of votes at just over 2%. Now, Justin boots, they're, you know, it's, it's tough to say which are over 200 and which are under 200. As you can see here, some of their boots are under $200. A lot of their work boots that are made in China specifically are under uh, $200. And a lot of them also kind of look like Ariat's. Like that was uh, an example of one that was kind of a spinoff of Ariat's Ventec, right? So if you're looking for a Justin boot, it's got the brand name, but a lot of those boots that are under $200 from Justin are made in China and they work their cushions just a little bit differently than from what Ariat does. Instead of a cushioned insole and like a harder footbed of like a cardboard or compressed fiber, uh, which is what Ariat does. What Justin does is that they also cushion the footbed as well. So they still have that compressed fiber, that cardboard, that really thick cardboard, but then they put a, a cushion on top of that that's non-removable and then they put a thinner insole on top of that. So that's basically the biggest difference that you're getting from the Made in China Justins uh, to the uh, Made in China Ariats for the most part, but they're pretty much 
the same. It's just a different way to get comfort. So let's go on to the sixth most voted for brand, under $200. And that's Laredo. Laredo Boots getting just over 3% of the votes. And Laredo can kind of be surprising sometimes. Like their Stillwater boot was really nice that I tried. Uh, this was the Heath boot that I tried. I wasn't so much a fan of that, but that Stillwater does look really nice. And it was very comfortable as well. Almost all of their boots are between the $100 or $150 to $200 range, which is really nice. Like. If you go to Laredo, you've, if you only have $200, you're like, I want a nice boot, but I don't want to shop around at a brand to see which are under $200 or in my budget range. Just go to Laredo and they're all right there. And they kind of compete in that same area that uh, Durango is in, right? And we'll get to Durango in a second, but uh, Laredo is also owned by Dan Post. So it's like Dan Post's budget line of boots. Uh, let's go to the fifth most voted for brand, and that's Cody James at uh, four and a half percent of the votes. And Cody James also is sort of right in that line of uh, under two hundred dollars to over two hundred dollars. They are really starting to get into some exotics, as you can see on this page. But they also have uh, plenty of boots that are uh, just under two hundred dollars or. Uh, less than that. A lot of those are also made in China as well, just like uh, Justin boots and look like Ariat's very, very similar. In fact, Cody James also has a a line that looks almost exactly like Ariat's bantamweight line. So uh, you can expect to see that. But uh, also Ariat and Cody James these days are, are kind of fighting with each other because they had a nice contract. They were kind of, uh, you know, getting close, you know, making money together. And then Ariat has got to go and open up their own stores, their own like physical stores right across the street from Boot Barns and stuff. So uh, that led Boot Barn, which is the main carrier of Cody James, to sort of dial back the amount of Ariats that they were carrying in their boot barn stores and an increase the amount of Cody James that they carry, which is why when you go into boot barns now, uh, you mainly see a lot of Cody James boots is because boot barn owns the Cody James brand and they're only available at boot barn. The fourth most voted for brand that's under $200 is Durango boots. There it is with 6.3% of the votes that's the Durango Rebel that we were talking about earlier and you know it's also kind of riding the line the Rebel Pro is often over $200 but this Durango Rebel is under $200 and as you can see they have several other lines that are under $200 they're owned by Rocky Brands which makes a lot of hunting gear and uh, they compete directly with Laredo, uh, which is owned by Dan Post. So they have a lot of different types of boots. They're okay. If you saw my review on the uh, Durango Rebel, I wouldn't spend my money in any of these places at any of these brands so far. But if I was in the market for a new cowboy boot, and that's very important to preface, a new cowboy boot that's under $200, I would go with the third most voted uh, brand here by you guys, which is Abilene, which got just under 6% of the votes. Abilene Boots is the only boot brand in this list under $200 that you can get that's made in the USA. So you guys who are really hyped and focused on supporting US made businesses, this is the brand for you if you're on a budget. Abilene made right there in Pennsylvania, actually. Pretty close to where Double H is made as well. So Abilene, almost all of their boots are under $200 and they are all made in the USA. So if you only had $200, between $150 to $200 and you're like, man, I really wish I could find a boot that was made in the USA that fit my budget. Well, that's Abilene, especially if you're looking for a new pair of boots. My first pair of boots that was under $200, it was actually my second or third pair of boots ever that I bought from Davis Trailer World in York, New York, 
was a pair of Abilene boots and they lasted me 10 years. So the Abilene boots are no joke, guys. And it, unlike a lot of these other brands in this list, they actually have a Goodyear welt as well, so they can be repaired. So I feel like you're getting more for your money, especially at such a low budget. When you go with Abilene boots, they can be repaired. Uh, they're made in the USA, and all of them pretty much are under $200. I don't, if I was in the market for a new pair of boots and I only had $200, personally, me, I would go with Abilene. But why I prefaced new is because of this next second most voted brand or type of cowboy boot because it could be any brand. It's used cowboy boots that are traditionally made and almost 20% of you voted this. Now this could be any brand. Uh, Nakona is a great traditionally made brand uh, from back in the 2000, early 2000s, 1990s and before. Uh, Justin, Tony Lama, all these classic brands that used to make cowboy boots the right way in the USA, they can be found for really cheap on secondhand marketplaces, in thrift stores, at flea markets. I see a lot of you guys in the Cowboy Boot group on Facebook, which you, you haven't joined yet, please do. The short link is jeremiahcraig.com slash boot group. Um, folks there share their scores all the time. Like people are saying, I bought these used cowboy boots, these classic Nakona new buck suede boots for $10. And they're barely used. Like you can find some really, really nice boots on the secondhand marketplace for under $200. And if you're looking for an exotic boot, if you're looking for a dress boot and you only have $200, then you definitely need to go to eBay, to Facebook Marketplace, to shopgoodwill.com and see what there is because you can find some really cool gator boots, ostrich boots, uh, caiman boots, stingray boots, <laughs> and you can put in a bid for uh, under $200 and win those suckers easy. The most voted brand for boots under $200 is of course, you probably can guess it, it's Ariat. 40% of the votes, you guys love Ariat boots and I can't say that I blame you. They have several different sizes, right? Ariat boots is one of the only ones in this list only brands that you can buy new B widths. They have lots of different sizes. Folks love the way that Ariats are made, but they also love the way that they fit because they're very unique and they're the most popular brand. They have lots of different price ranges as well, but they also have, as you saw, lots of boots under $200. They focus on comfort. In fact, the CEO, Beth Cross, used to consult for Reebok before she started Ariat. Um, and personally, the Ariat Heritage Roper is one of my favorites to wear from that line, which is only around $160 right now. And it's one of the best examples of a brand new boot under $200. Um, and I have the B width of that. So there's lots of different sizes. You can find a size for you if you're having trouble fitting into a boot, if you have a narrow foot, if you have a wide foot, uh, you can find a size for you with Ariat under $200, which makes it really valuable to go that route. That's the uh, eight different brands that were under $200. I love to see the results of these things. What do you guys think? Here is the chart all together and as you might have noticed it doesn't add up to 100% because we did have a lot of little slivers in here where people saying they don't focus on price or they said Tacovas or Hondos or Lucchese which don't have any boots under $200 um, or people were like these boots on sale and I wasn't really focusing on on sale boots I just wanted to focus on the boots that you can go to and you can rely on being under $200 so here's the breakdown what are your guys thoughts on that let me know let me know if the boots are under 200 bucks There's a mighty good chance that they suck <laughs> But if it's all that you got You can give it a shot It's cheap enough to try your luck 
My favorite is always to go used, though. But like I said, if I was gonna go new, I want those boots that are made in the USA. Abilene, what do you think? 